Studio Okafor. Uh -huh. Who has a story that's going to change the world and it's about... Juju? Really? Tunde is a really fun character to write. Unlike the rest of our cast, Tunde is traveling around the world and he's sort of the glue that ties everyone together. Tunde is a journalist. He represents the power of knowledge and of telling people things in the world and how much power you can have by owning a story, breaking a story, shaping a story. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. The CNN called me. They want me to do my style of reporting. Reporting? Bro, you're taking video selfies. He is pretty fearless. And so because of that, like he's allowed to go to all of these countries that he ends up going to and he doesn't think twice. Like he can dive in feet first. That's the kind of person that he is. If there's anything that he kind of wants to do or if there's anything that challenges him or anything, like he kind of attacks it head on. The country is not allowing journalists in to report on the situation, but I was able to sneak in on his student visa. And I'm here to investigate how the new law is impacting the people. He is the observer of the power, the documenter of the power. But he's also kind of in love with the power in a way. He has this experience in the pilot that absolutely changes his entire life. He's with me. And it is fine or not? Whoa! Whoa. <gasps> First, he isn't quite sure what happened. He's not quite sure if he imagined it, but whatever it is, it just really freaks him out for a second. He represents women in the book. In this reversed world, he is us. And he's the person who goes through and experiences what it's like to be on the end of dominion held over him by other people. You were messing around with Adunola, making up some nonsense about some business. And then you put my face all over the internet for the whole world to see. Tunde's never had to worry about much in his life, but now when the power comes about, suddenly like a lot of the privileges you had in the world before you don't have in this world. You might notice two women walking behind you now if it's late at night. And like when people have the power to hurt or the power to kill, literally at their fingertips, then you can't do a lot of the things that men in today's day can, can do without, you know, like batting an eye. There's a part of him that feels like if men can understand this thing through like a male gaze, then maybe it'll be easier for them to understand. He very distinctly has an eye-opener moment. He sees a very specific type of change that the power can bring that the rest of the media doesn't seem to see. If he can get other men to see this thing in the way that he can because of his very specific lived experience with it. Yeah.